Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Netherlands announced in early March that it would join the ranks of US sanctions, restricting shipments of DUV lithography equipment. According to the interpretation of ASML in the Netherlands, not all DUV lithography machines will be restricted, and they can still meet the needs of customers in mature chip manufacturing. There is also news from Japan that it will restrict the export of 23 items of semiconductor equipment, including four items of lithography machines. With the escalation of the ban on lithography machines, how will China chip respond? The photolithography machine is a necessary equipment for chip production. Through the exposure of the photolithography machine, the chip pattern is engraved on the surface of the wafer, and then the wafer is cut into hundreds of chips. In the entire chip manufacturing process, the cost of the lithography step is the most difficult. An EUV lithography machine costs 120 million US dollars, and there is no market for it, and it may not be possible to buy it if you have money. In 2018, SMIC purchased an EUV lithography machine, but because of the obstruction of the United States, ASML was unable to ship freely. Today, not only cannot obtain the shipping license, but ASML also faces a wider range of restrictions involving DUV Deep Ultraviolet Lithography Machine System. In order to dispel customers' concerns, ASML quickly issued a statement after the Netherlands announced that it would join the sanctions, saying that not all DUV lithography machines will be restricted, only the most advanced lithography machines will be involved. ASML's definition of most advanced is TwinScan NXT, 2000i and above models, that is to say, only TwinScan NXT, 1980di and below models can be shipped normally. According to ASML's official website, TwinScan NXT, 1980di lithography process is less than or equal to 38 nanometers. Although it is only 38 nanometers, if multiple exposure technology is used, 14 nanometers chips can still be produced. Therefore, the restrictions in the Netherlands will not have a great impact on mature manufacturing processes. Not only the Netherlands, but also news from Japan has escalated the ban on lithography machines again. Japan plans to implement export controls on 23 items of semiconductor manufacturing equipment, including four lithography machines. Japan emphasized that this is not the result of coordination with the United States, nor is it aimed at any country or region. It sounds good on the lips, but in fact, anyone with a discerning eye knows that this is Japan's action in cooperation with the United States. ASML has long revealed that the United States, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement, even if Japan denies it, it cannot cover up the fact. As Japan upgrades the ban on lithography machines, some of Nikon's DUV lithography machines will also be restricted from shipment. First ASML, then Nikon, coupled with the actions of the United States, Western countries decided to fight China to the end. So how should China chip respond? First of all, grasp the mature chip production capacity and stabilize market demand. The current tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands has little impact on the development of mature manufacturing processes, because within a controllable range, it is necessary to grasp the production capacity of mature chips and stabilize market demand. 
SMIC has built a 12-inch wafer fab in Shanghai, Shenzhen, Tianjin, and Beijing respectively. If all factories reach production capacity, they can achieve a monthly wafer production capacity of 340,000 wafers, which will greatly help improve the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips. The most important thing is that most of the domestic chip demand is almost concentrated in mature manufacturing processes and smart cars, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, etc. all use mature chips. However, the production capacity of domestic manufacturers cannot meet market demand, and some chips still need to be imported. If the 70% chip self-sufficiency target can be achieved, there will be no need to rely too much on imports. Secondly, cultivate outstanding talents and cultivate self-developed core technologies. A lithography machine is a very complex semiconductor device. Take the EUV lithography machine as an example. It contains 100,000 parts and is backed by more than 5,000 suppliers. Although ASML is the only manufacturer in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines, imported technology accounts for as much as 90% using American light source equipment, German Zeiss lenses, Japanese photoresist materials, and top manufacturers such as TSMC and Samsung. Participatory training. It is almost unimaginable for a country and region to manufacture EUV lithography machines alone. However, there is no need to set the requirements too high for domestic lithography machines at the beginning. We should start by cultivating outstanding talents and deepen our self-developed core technologies. When the Netherlands joined the restrictions, China said it would manufacture similar products on its own if it had no choice. The lithography machine is indeed a big challenge, but time goes back 30 years. Which one of the BIDA satellite navigation system, shield machine, space station, etc. faced in the past 30 years is not a difficult challenge, and it was finally taken by China one by one. Capture China cannot know where the domestic lithography machine can go, but as long as it keeps moving forward, it can see more scenes. The United States wooed the Netherlands, and Japan joined the restrictive camp. From the perspective of semiconductor manufacturers, they do not want things to develop to this point. The business is their own, and they want to make money more than anyone else. China is the world's largest semiconductor equipment sales country. Giants such as ASML in the Netherlands and Nikon in Japan plan to expand their presence in the Chinese market. But the actions of the United States, Japan and the Netherlands have destroyed their plans, and China will speed up self-research in order to cope with market variables. Once China has self-developed equipment as a substitute, it will not be so easy to make a lot of money in the future. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.